So where is God in this terrible pandemic? Well, I find it helpful to remember that at his birth, Jesus was given two names and he's with us therefore in two ways. Uh, first of all, Jesus was called God saves, which means literally God rescues us. God is the one who shows us in Jesus that whatever suffering, difficulties, torments we face, ultimately the victory has already been won over sickness, sin, and even over death itself. Jesus is the one who saves us, that is the great Christian hope. But he was also given another name and we tend to forget that one. Uh, he was called Emmanuel, which means God is with us. And so actually that is where I see God at the moment. Uh, I see God with us uh, in the sorrowing and the suffering that is all around us. God is on the cross. Uh, the cross is not just for us an event in history, though it is an event in history. It is a sign of how God is passionately involved with the world he made. Not an absent God, not a God who looks on, uh, but a God who is himself in Jesus, sharing everything that it means to be human, including our suffering and dying. And therefore it must be both. God who is with us, God who is saves us. But he saves us by sharing and participating in the sorrows and sufferings of the world. This was beautifully uh, expressed to me recently in a picture drawn by a priest in this diocese where I've been serving. A picture of Jesus crucified, but crucified in a hospital ward on a ventilator machine, uh, sharing in the sufferings of the world at the moment and also the one who will ultimately save us.